Hello and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. My name is Hamimi Nassim, I'm a third year engineering student at Polytechnic School of Tunisia. I would like today to present the project for which I will participate the Simulink Student uh, Challenge 2022. This project is entitled the control of an arm robot in order to follow a specific trajectory. The growing need to reduce operating costs in factories is the main driving force behind the global robotics market. So, cost reduction can be achieved by reducing errors in the production process uh, and waste of raw materials and the number of accidents, also by increasing the technological flexibility and productivity of the enterprise, uh, also by improving working conditions and safety level. And that becomes possible with the robot manipulators, which are used in most industries due to their ability to perform complex repetitive tasks with high accuracy, even in difficult conditions. A very important task in robotics, in ARM robotics, is the path planning. A key word of path planning is what we call the inverse kinematics. So considering this is our arm robot, and this is the end effector of the, the arm robot. So the position is given by x, y, and z, or theta. And the question here is how to know the values of theta 1, theta 2, and theta 3 that gives us the right position. So that was actually for only one position of the end effector, but uh, in reality we have a trajectory that the robot should follow. So uh, what we can do, so actually a trajectory is a set of end effector positions, so we need to do the same process for each point, uh, so we need to determine the inverse kinematics for each point, and after that we can control the arm robot. Okay, uh, but you should know that the determination of the kinemat, the inverse kinematics can be done through two approaches. Uh, the first approach is a geometric approach and uh, it's only applicable in a few limited cases. And the second approach is by solving the equations of motion. And this is, uh, will be done through what we call the DH convention. So as we can see that in uh, sometimes we can found very difficult equations to solve so uh, that was the theoretical part and now we are moving to the practical part of the project regarding the trajectory we choose the Skyrim famous game logo so as you can see uh, each part of the trajectory is defined by an equation uh, on the left so that will enable us to encode this trajectory using MATLAB and regarding the manipulator, we choose the Pima uh, 560 arm robot. So first of all, I I encode the trajectory in MATLAB, and after that, so I used uh, the robotic vision control toolbox in order to import the Pima our, our robot model, and uh, after that, I define the position of the and the factor of the tool and uh, also I create the and I generate the inverse kinematics and at the end I I create CSV file CSV file that contains the the command signals uh, to control in order to control the arm robot. So if we run the code we can see that the trajectory will be generated so as we can see the we have successfully generate the trajectory as we can see here and uh, of course uh, the, the the inverse kinematics and the signals was successfully also created
So now we will move on to the, the to the simulink part. So first of all, I export the CAD assembly of the robot using Simscape multibody. After that, for each uh, joint, I choose the actuation by motion and I choose the parameter provided by input. So I linked the, the joint uh, input by a block of signal a block of signals which called a signal builder okay uh, I also created a CAD part that represents uh, the trajectory in order to observe that uh, to make sure that the arm robot uh, follow uh, the corresponding trajectory so I, we can see the CAD file uh, okay now we will move on to, to the simulation we will run the project and we will see the simulation okay i i have uh, already run uh, simulate uh, run the simulation and this is the result so as we can see that the robot uh, follow the trajectory so in order to improve uh, the accuracy and the stability of the, uh, my arm robot I I integrate a PID controller to my to my project. Uh, so at the first step, I create a PID controller for each joint, and after that, I I make a block that uh, contains uh, each uh, each controller. Okay. Finally, I would like to thank the MathWorks Corporation for this uh, initiative, and hope that my project will be well received by the members of uh, the jury.